Um, amongst all fights, where did this up and coming bout rank and why? Um, this next fight, you know, it's, it's a debut in uh, America. My first fight over here as a professional. Uh, and not only that, you know, Paul Demolaji is a fighter who, you know, who is recognized in, in America. And I think, you know, he's a big name over here. He's a bigger name than Maidana or, or any other fighter who, who, who's in the top who's in the top five, who's available at this moment in time. So yeah, Paul Demolaji is available. The fight was put to me. At first I wanted to fight Marquez, but Marquez didn't want to fight. Uh, and then Malinaji's name come up. It was quite funny how the fight come up because he was talking all the trash saying I want to fight Amir, Amir's avoiding me. Um, we give, we put the fight to Golden Boy and Golden Boy don't want to fight with me and Amir. So then I called Oscar and I spoke to Oscar and I said to Oscar, look, um, this is what he's saying. And Oscar said, well, you know what, if he's saying that, let's, let's put the fight on. So do you feel he's underestimating you and he'll be in for a shock? Oh, definitely, you know, um, I'm getting better every, every, every fight, I'm getting better and better. I'm, I'm in the best camp, you know, I'm in the best condition I could be in. And, you know, he's going to get a big shock on the night. You know, he thinks he's going to walk over me. He's talking a lot of trash. But, you know, I'm going to let my fist be the talking. You know, I'm not going to be speaking back at him and arguing. I'm just going to let my fist be the talking on the night. What do you feel you have to do to beat a fighter like Pauli Malinaji? Uh, to beat Pauli Malinaji, you know, you have to just be quick, sharp. You have to use your brains. It's going to be technical. You know, I just, I just have to be first at everything. You know, counter first, hit first. Um, and just, just keep keep to my game plan. You know, that Fred is gonna give me and Fred is gonna set me to do this. He's gonna he's gonna tell me what to do in the fight and then you know that's what we're gonna do, you know. The conditioning for the fight with Alex Ruiz has gone really well. Um, and the work with Freddy on the pads and everything's going really well. So you know I, nothing can go wrong, you know, I feel so much so confident for this fight. As far as conditioning, who have you been sparring to prepare for this fight? The few fighters, you know, there's uh, a few um, good fighters, local good fighters like uh, Benavitas, Jose Benavitas, who's a good kid, you know. Um, also, uh, Dave Rivella, uh, uh, Dean Bill. Uh, there's a few, there's a few fighters, uh, and there's another few guys coming in next week. Uh, with a similar style like Paul Malnagi, who are, who are, you know, world class fighters. So yeah, you know, it's looking, it's looking exciting. As far as your fight being, being in New York. Where Paul is in his hometown. <laughs> How important is it for you to make a statement fighting over there in the U.S. at right. New York, one of the largest capitals? That's right. You know, New York, Madison Square Garden is like the like the mecca of boxing. And you know, I I, I don't only want to win the fight. I want to win it in a good style so people recognize that. You know, it's my debut here. I want to set a statement. You know, I want to put a statement that how good I am. Um, it's going to be tough to do that. You know, it's going to be his home crowd and everything, but. The best feeling is to beat someone that is in front of his home crowd, and that's what I'm going to do on the 15th. And as far as the fans, um, a lot of people say that they either love you or hate you, similar to Oscar De La Hoya when he was up and coming. Yeah. Why do you feel that? No, I'm a young fighter, you know, a young world champion, and you know, I'm, I'm a fighter who, you know, not only uh, known as a good fighter over here, but you know, in England, I've got like the, I've got like the celebrity status that people not only see me as a boxer, but see me more as a celebrity and stuff. And you know, I don't put that on myself. You know, people see me as a, you know, I'm just a normal guy. Uh, you know, you just get a lot of jealousy there. Um, and I don't know why people probably dislike me because I'm not doing anything to, you know, uh, upset them in any way. Uh, I think it's just a lot of jealousy to be honest with you. You know, they don't know me. I think if someone comes over to me and meets me and speaks to me, then they know what type of guy I am. You know, I'm a down-to-earth guy. I just love sport boxing. And, you know, I just try my best in every sport. You know, in every, in every fight I try my best. And, you know, I can't be doing anything wrong there. You know, all I do is go boxing and fight hard. What type of mental preparation has Freddie Roach been giving you in regards to the fight, as far as battle plan? And so, yeah, uh, yeah, we've been working a lot of stuff, you know, new, te new techniques, uh, new tactics for the fight, not making mistakes, improving on the mistakes that we normally make in the, for the fight. Um, so, you know, we've just been improving ourselves and, you know, stick to one game plan, to beat Paulie Malinaji. Paulie does a lot of uh, mistakes in the fight, and that's what we're going to capitalize on. Do you feel that this fight with Paul is a huge crossroad in your career that can either go one way or another, and if so, why? Yeah, I think it's just going to go one way, you know, I think I'm going to go in there and beat him. You know, I don't think I know I am. You know, I'm very confident in this fight. Um, he's been talking a lot, but you know, I've been training hard. You know, 
know, all I can say, the training I put into this fight, the work I put into this fight, you know, I can't go into the fight and lose. Um, I'm so confident. You know. So you um, say you've been training hard. As far as your past fights, how do you feel your training and your physical shape is for well, this fight? My condition got better and better. You know, every fight I'm stronger, I'm sharper, I'm getting quicker, I'm getting more harder, and I'm getting more experience. You know, working with different sparring partners, working with Freddie Roach in the gym. You know. I'm taking all the see the change of you know, I'm maturing as a, as a fighter, I'm getting better and you know, I'm only going the right direction, you know, I'm going up and up. Um, slowly but surely, you know, I think I'm the world champion and that's giving me more confidence. And I'm just getting better and better every fight. And it's, it's just to get to through it. Right. 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 Now rewinding things, going back to your amateur career.